Okay, there's the frequency we're looking for. The guys that are working on the Dr. Stifler project, um, where he lit up a, a bulb using just the frequency from a frequency generator. And this is uh, the waveform, uh, as clean as I can get it, on this uh, computer based oscilloscope. And I am using one of those um, crystal based oscillators. That particular one is. Uh, 13.6829 megahertz is what that's listed at. And I've just got a tunable inductor here, and I do have some LEDs, LEDs that are lit up by driving out of that tunable inductor into a piece of aluminum that is insulated from the back of that LED board. And then the AV plug, I'm having to bring that back to the ground to get this to work so this is not a replication but you know it does um, in some ways kind of prove what's going on here um, in some ways I'm driving this with uh, four volts Let's see that. 4.1 volts and um, it's not very much amperage it's pretty darn low amperage going into that it's um, less than 30 milliamps. I, I have another couple of these chips, uh, oscillator types. Um, this one megahertz works and then this one here I ordered this one here and this is 16 megahertz and it was this one here that I got the best results out of using that basically 20 uh, or so micro Henry variable choke and it would run an LED down to 2 volts at about 2 milliamps. So anyway, I've got the scope thing going here now. I, I figured out how to get that thing working again. And there's, uh, there's the numbers I've got. Now notice the peak-to-peak -peak on these settings is only 1.28 volts or 2.7 volts peak-to-peak on these settings. Now maybe you computer guys and uh, electronics guys can read my scope here because I am not literate on this at all. This is not my expertise but uh, anyway it, um, that's the sine wave and that's the frequency. Uh, I'm using this uh, computer scope setup. It was not very expensive. What I don't have is the signal generator and here again what we're trying to do if nobody knows what's going on is Dr. Stifler took an LED board not like this but another one out of a light bulb a Cree light bulb 110 volt and he fed that frequency into it at 20 volts and I'm not sure what the amperage going out of the signal generator was and he lit that board up bright and that's what everybody's scrambling to do is trying to replicate the signal generator into the back of an LED and light it up. And uh, anyway, this is as close as I'm I'm getting so far. And uh, at least I've got an oscilloscope now where I can look at the stuff. Thanks for watching.